Alright folks, it is the moment we've been waiting for. Halloween Horror Nights has just dropped a new announcement for this year's event, both in Hollywood and Orlando, and it is Naughty Dogs The Last of Us. Now this is something that people have been speculating for quite a while, and it's exciting to see it finally officially announced. Like many of the other announcements in the past, we got a sort of teaser video, and I wanted to do a breakdown of that video looking for easter eggs, clues for the house itself, and for the general event theme, as well as break down more of the details surrounding this announcement afterwards. So let's just not waste any more time and hop right into this video. Guys, I'm telling you, it's real. Why are you so obsessed with this universal legend? <laughs> you think I'd be used to them by now? So right away, we got more details regarding the legend of Halloween Horror Nights, this legend tagline they're going with for the entire event theming. And from what I'm guessing, this is going to translate to both Orlando and Hollywood's event because in the previous videos it was mentioned, as well as this one, which is for a bi-coastal announcement. Now, I don't know if this is an Easter egg or meant to be taken more literally, but it is being talked about as a universal legend, universal as in the brand, you know, the company we're talking about, but also universal as in this big uh, over-encompassing force. Here we also get a really good look at the Zoom call uh, that these three friends are on. Obviously, we have Jordan, who is the main character of this trailer, Drew, who is walking through the woods wearing headphones, not unlike a Max Mayfield from Stranger Things, and Sophia, who looks like she's at some sort of school with an August calendar and some kind of maybe countdown to fall decor on this board behind her. We know that this trailer does not take place in August, so I'm pretty interested to see how the two times of year are going to line up. Maybe this is just an Easter egg for Halloween. This group of friends also recalls the Scream Squad from last year's trailers, and if that is any indication, these characters are going to come back. Maybe that podcaster from the Static video was also a part of this group as well, and we saw her fate in that Static video. We see Jordan playing The Last of Us, as well as the sort of mature logo at the bottom of the screen, really highlighting that this is based on the video game. And with this shot, we get a better look at some of the background details, we have this fungi mushroom related poster, of course relating to the fungi featured in the Last of Us video game, as well as this poster here in the back, and this has been the subject of much conversation, it's really kind of hard to make out what this poster says. Could this be a piece of key art relating to this year's event? There is a skull in the middle, and from what I have heard there are cherry blossoms and an Eiffel Tower, referring to both the rumored Japanese and France themed houses at this year's event. Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. All right, just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video and I- Is another conspiracy theory? There's no kidding me down in the park. Hey, are you guys seeing this? Rue mentioned skipping the video to 32 seconds, and when this video is played at 32 seconds, we see a rune uh, and a bunch of glitches take over the screen. Now, this really is hammering home this overarching theme for the event relating to the runes, relating to the glitches that we've been seeing in that static video in the past, and some of the other marketing uh, that Horror Nights has been putting out for this year's event. While it seems weird to look at the seconds in the actual YouTube video as a clue, uh, they've been getting really, really cryptic with this year's clues, so I don't doubt that it's a part of this giant story they're trying to tell. I love in the next shot this poster that says, good energy is contagious, of course referring to the pandemic atmosphere and the contagion that creates the zombies in The Last of Us. Step into the world of The Last of Us, only at 
at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. So the next part of this trailer is pretty straightforward. We have this girl being terrorized by some clickers. You hear the sounds. I think this is going to be very telling of the types of scares they're going to use in this house, really using the sound of the clickers as something really, really menacing. We get a look at her phone uh, featuring today's date, the date of the announcement, Thursday, June 15th, and the time 528. We see a mushroom background, again, referring to the fungi from the game. And as we see by the end of just trailer, this was all in her head. And this kind of mirrors some of the storytelling going on in the Michael Myers trailer from last year. Honestly, a lot of this reflects that Michael Myers trailer just in the setup uh, and the payoff of this moment. We see the Last of Us logo with the PlayStation logo, again, really hammering in that this is the game we're experiencing. This is not the HBO series. And finally, we have the Halloween Horror Nights title card. And we also see that the Never Go Alone tagline is back for the third year in a row. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I'm kind of tired of seeing it at this point, um, but I understand they want to keep that brand recognition um, with Halloween Horror Nights, with the tagline, uh, and so I, I get why they're doing it. Although I thought See You in the Fog was really going to be the tagline for this year, so I'm curious as to what that's going to mean for the event at large if that's not the tagline. Now that's what we got with the trailer, but we also got a press release that gives us a little more detail as to how this house is going to function and what they're going to be pulling from the game specifically, so I wanted to read off that really quick. Set in a ravaged civilization where infected and hardened survivors run rampant, Naughty Dog and PlayStation's The Last of Us video game, which celebrates its 10th anniversary this year, has captivated audience since its release. And now guests can immerse themselves in a real life experience that puts them directly into the game's frightening world. The Last of Us haunted houses on both coasts will propel guests into a world of carnage and mayhem as they follow in the footsteps of the game's protagonists, Joel and Ellie, who endure a brutal journey in a world overtaken by a fungal virus that turns humans into various forms of a new threat known as the infected. As guests encounter the infected, runners, stalkers, and clickers, along with the hunters, a band of hostile humans, they will need to navigate the Pittsburgh quarantine zone including iconic locations from the video game such as the creepy and desolate The Hotel Grand and a labyrinth of dark and dank tunnels in a desperate attempt to escape and survive. Really what we learn here is the Pittsburgh setting and a couple of the set pieces um, that they're going to be going with. It is pretty vague as we are still pretty far out from the event itself. We're not getting too much uh, specificity with these details. I personally am speculating based on the scale of some of these set pieces that we're going to be seeing this in the parade buildings here in Orlando if we are using them this year, or possibly a soundstage because this is a bigger IP. And as far as Hollywood goes, John Murdy already confirmed where this is going, being located over in the Mummy queue where Universal Monsters Legends Collide was last year. So yeah, really, really excited for The Last of Us as our next big IP. So now we have Chucky and The Last of Us coming to the event. It's great to finally have a new Halloween Horror Nights announcement, but today didn't just give us this house announcement. We also got an opening date for Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights for this year, as well as some of the new ticket options. So I wanted to talk about that briefly at the end of this one. Thursday, September 7th will be the opening day of Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. You got 800 houses, five scare zones, the terror tram, as well as some new live entertainment. So maybe the Jabberwockies are finally being retired, maybe to bring in something like Nightmare Fuel or we have over here in Orlando. And tickets are now on sale as well as Express and a new early access ticket, which provides access to select haunted houses uh, prior to the opening. Of course, RAP tours are also on sale and their frequent fear and ultimate fear passes are also on sale. But anyway, that is all of today's big announcements. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that long before we see another Halloween Horror Nights announcement, just because we are in the middle of June. And for Hollywood, there are six haunted houses to come. And uh, for us, there are another eight haunted houses to come. So we are going to be seeing some more announcements coming. But for now, let's relish in the fact that we finally got an HHN 32 announcement, The Last of Us. And yeah, I want to thank you all for watching this video here. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I do all kinds of Halloween Horror Nights videos, deep dives, updates, construction updates once stuff actually starts becoming visible over here in Orlando. I know Hollywood uh, construction is going on, but I don't live in Hollywood. Um, so once Orlando construction really starts kicking off, I'm going to do some construction updates in the park. There's a lot to come for Halloween Horror Nights 32 uh, on this channel, uh, so you're going to want to stick around for that. Again, like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about this announcement. Do, are you excited for The Last of Us? Do you wish it was the show? Uh, again, let me know all of your thoughts down below. I want to thank you all for watching this video once again, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.